America, Tom Hand here in the Americana Corner. Today we are talking about the opening scenes of the battles of Lexington and Concord. These battles, fought on April 19, 1775, marked the start of America's war for independence and were the culmination of a series of troubles between England and her American colonies. The Boston Tea Party in December of 1773 led the Parliament's Coercive Acts, which severely punished Massachusetts. In response, colonial leaders passed the Suffolk Resolves, declaring Parliament's decrees null and void. In February 1775, King George declared Massachusetts to be in a state of rebellion and ordered the seizure of all colonial military supplies. General Thomas Gage moved to grab rebel munitions in Concord, 17 miles west of Boston. The British began their march at 2 a.m. on April 19th. By then, all towns along the route knew the Redcoats were coming thanks to warnings from express riders like Paul Revere. By 4 a.m., with alarm bells ringing and bonfires burning, the British knew they had lost the element of surprise. When the soldiers arrived in Lexington around 5 a.m., they found local militiamen already assembled on the village green. The British ordered them to disperse, and the militia commander, Captain John Parker, not wanting to start a fight, ordered his men to go home. Then, without orders, the Redcoats fired on the militia. When the shooting stopped, eight Lexington militiamen were dead and ten wounded. The British quickly regrouped and continued on to Concord. Next time, we will talk about the running fight between the British and the American militiamen that began in Concord with the shot heard around the world. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.